Hello, welcome to the workshop. I'm Doug, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I am Doug and I am an addict. I'm addicted, I'm addicted to socket sets. No, but I do love socket sets. Who doesn't, who doesn't love a socket set? Even a cheap socket set. Bring a smile to a guy's face. And there is actually a place in the shop for cheap socket sets. Take this for instance. Amazon special, a 205 piece set from Amazon. Normally this thing's about 120, 130, 140. I've seen it as much as 150. And it was a hundred bucks in Amazon, so I grabbed it because I don't have enough socket sets. No, that's not the case, but there's a lot of times, there's actually a place in a shop for cheap, inexpensive tools. And I just had to lend out a Allen wrench set. And I don't like lending out my good Weira Allens. So I busted this open and gave the dude the Allen set out of here until I got some cheap ones. So yeah. Uh, what else? Pounding sockets. So, a lot of times, especially in the rust belt, the right size socket won't fit on what you're working on. And you have to go a size... The things don't fit right. And a lot of times you're pounding sockets on. You gotta pound them out with a hammer. And sometimes you do it, if the fastener is beginning to round out, Every now and then you can go the next size down and get lucky. Pound the socket on there so friggin' tight that it won't round out on you. But I don't want to take a hammer to, you know, my SK sockets or even my Milwaukee's, any of them, you know, even my old Craftsman. I wouldn't even want to take a hammer to my old Craftsman, the old ones. So. There is a place in a shop for cheap tools, what can I say? Plus I love socket sets and it just kinda justify to myself the purchase. But I have been into this already. Somebody did need a metric Allen, so I gave him the whole set for a day or two. Somebody from a different department. Let's see, are we in frame? How are we doing frame-wise? Eh, not bad. Yeah, yeah. Right off the bat, this is not thick enough. Find something, anything, use this as a pattern, cut it out because this alone is not enough. And the sockets do come out. So the sockets that sit, they just sit loosely. But anything that snaps in, is snapped in there tighter than all hell. So it is a really good case, but these ones that sit, don't snap and because this isn't thick enough they are constantly falling all over which is not fun it's not the worst thing but I mean just find anything and, and trace this out something a little bit thicker than this I would even just keep this too but anyway here it is it's a nice looking set you know until I purchased this I have never held a Dewalt tool hand tool I've plenty of power tools but never like a wrenches and ratchets and stuff like that but they're okay looking I mean little chrome crack I do love chrome what can I say but the snaps are really good these are really good sets of Allen's too that they're really complete sets which is nice not all Allen sets are have all the half sizes and stuff like that. See, see what I mean? The snaps on that are amazing. On everything that snaps in, it is like wicked, wicked tight. Like you can almost not even get some of these out. The ratchets look okay. I mean, I compared this to a Armstrong ratchet that I had laying around and it's gone, shit. And this was actually even a little bit slimmer than the Armstrong ratchet, which is kind of unusual. 
But yeah, it's a pretty decent little quarter inch ratchet. The 3 8 same thing. It's pretty slim. Looks all right. Nice looking ratchet. Sounds good. Pretty small profile. And the big boy, the half inch drive. That sounds pretty rough. That's not exactly fine tooth at all. That, but sometimes you're just going to bash and beat on stuff and you just don't want to use your snap on, your SKs, or even my Milwaukee's. I, I love my Milwaukee's. I don't want to bash them with the hammer. So these are my beaters. These are the beaters or the lender outers. What else is in here? There is like a nut driver for all these bits. And I'm usually, Jesus, not a fan of all these bits. Like, 250 piece set, but 75 of the pieces are these stupid bits that you never use. So this set was pretty light on the bits. There wasn't like a million of them. Um, these are like nut drivers, and I'm sure they come in handy. They do, I'm sure. Not These little bits come in handy too sometimes. They'll save you every now and then. You'll be like, oh shit, and you won't have something, and it'll be in this little bit set. This feels pretty healthy. I don't know who's making the screwdrivers for DeWalt. But, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. There is a place in the shop for cheap tools. There really is. I'm all glamour and glitz when it comes to tools. I like my name brand stuff, so... It is a little weird having the cheap ass socket set, but whatever. Anyway, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye.